This weekend I'm spending time down on the Southern Oregon coast. And the reason I'm here is for the 7th annual Gold Beach Brew and Art Brew Fest. There is music, art, food, and of course, beer. Yeah, I will be trying a beer. I am with Michael at Chetco Brewing, and he actually brought in a variety of his own hops. Show me what you Ah, want. how you tell if they're ripe. What you yeah. want to do is two things. I like to pick them, and then you open up the petals, and you look for the little lupulin glands, and you want them to have a nice gold color to them. That means they should be getting ripe. And then you, the second test, I like to mash them up, break up those little glands, and then kind of let them open up, and then take a good sniff. And if you're getting a good, strong aroma out of it, that means they're ripe. And you have to be careful. If they get overripe, they get really bad. You don't want them. Wow. That is so fun. And then what we do this time of year, since we're big hop heads and we love IPAs and hops, if we're drinking a beer, we take a mash up and then we just drop them right in the beer. And then those lupulin glands, the oils from them just spread out in there and you get a whole different hop effect. It's different from a dry hop. It's different from a hop back or a late edition hop. It's a whole different thing. If you've never tried it and you like hops, you really should try wow. it. Well, thank you for bringing hops. You know, I've not, never seen them live before or, I mean, you know, growing on a vine. <laughs> so it's very interesting. Um, and I would love to take a taste. I, I know you're out of Brookings, Oregon, so you're very local. Yes, I'm local. We grow the hops on our property at the brewery. And we have another beer that we actually grow the raspberries for on our property also. I'm going to give you one of these so you can try it right in there. And what I like to do is let them soak a little bit, dunk them around in there, and then gives this little extra aroma and flavor. It's a whole nice. new thing. Mmm, that is tasty. Mm. Cheers to you for making good beer in Brookings, Oregon. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much, Checo Brewing Company. Thanks. I'm here with Les Stancil in Gold Beach, and not only does he play beautiful guitar, but he makes, well, you're making ukuleles right now. Looks well, they're like. just uh, scaled down guitars, really. I, I've used my flamenco guitar design, and uh, which is similar to a lot of ukulele design, but I've stuck really with the flamenco design. So nice. I know my husband, he likes to travel with the ukulele because it's small. Oh, absolutely. There's so many things I love about ukuleles. The, the compact nature of the, of the instrument, you can travel with it. Uh, it's less subjective to uh, extreme temperatures because of the smaller body and humidities. Uh, just so much fun to play. They're so versatile. Yeah, that is really cool. And you're putting uh, Gold Beach on the map by making guitars here. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> 90% of the wood in these instruments is from this region. Nice. Uh, mostly quarter of cedar and Oregon myrtle wood. Wow. And as you can see, I have extraordinary quality of wood here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Just to look at even as a piece of art. Well, thank you so much. So I am here with J.R. Robinson, and you are a local photographer in Gold Beach, yes, and your photos are gorgeous. Whether Thank you. A lot of them inspired from the area. Yes, ma'am. We take all of our shots locally. They're beautiful. I mean, if you want, if you're a photographer, come to Gold Beach. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> because it's beautiful. So. We have 60 miles of the best coastline in Oregon, most photographed, talked about commercialized. I mean, it is gorgeous here. Wow. Yeah. And this brew festival is a really fun event for people to gather and show their art and have some beers. I've tasted some crazy beers so far. The brew fest is a blast. The brew fest is growing stronger and stronger every year. This is my sixth brew fest out of seven. Wow. And I will be back next year. These are so much fun. And if you haven't been to a brew fest, get here. <laughs> it's true. It's really a, it's a fun event. To, and, yeah. and to have your art here is really pretty. So thank you for continuing to take beautiful photos thank you. from around the area and promoting this. Sport. It's so beautiful on the southern Oregon coast right here in Gold Beach. You bet. It's wonderful. I am here at Tight Lines Brewery. You guys are a local brewery. Yes. I'm here with Dave and Nathan, the owners. 
and you guys are actually located in Brookings. Yeah, we're in Brookings, Oregon. Nice. Okay, so you guys have been brewing up some interesting beer, and I love I love Oregon for all its craft beer, and you have a habanero beer. Yeah, it's very unique. And I would love to taste that. Dave, how long have you guys been open? Well, we sold our first keg of beer last July 2013, and then we opened our tasting room in uh, March. March 2014. 2014. Habanero infused beer. Habanero. Wow. Mm. It's dry hop two separate times, mm. and then uh, fresh habaneros are added, seeds, everything. I see it. I actually can see little seeds in here, and yeah, I it's, and it's I taste very, it. It's a very light aftertaste of a little bit of hot, yeah, but it's very it but it's very refreshing. So it's refreshing and hot, kind of like me. That is gorgeous. Just remember, we're Century Twenty One. Okay. <laughs> Where's your logo? Wait a minute. It's on the <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome. drink beer, buy property. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so you guys have wood-fired pizza, and where are you located? Uh, we're located in Agnes, Oregon, which is about 27 miles up the Rogue River. I think that is awesome is. that yeah, you're up in Agnes making are. pizza. We are. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for being at the Brew Fest. Absolutely. Thanks. You got to eat food when you're drinking beer, or you'll get into trouble. <laughs> uh, so this is your classic car? Yes. And what, what, is, what is this car? It's a 1940 Ford Coupe. It's beautiful. It's all Ford underneath. Ford engine, Ford transmission. Wow. Leather interior. Wow. Well, it's beautiful. Thank you for letting us see it today. Yeah, thank you. I am here with Nicole. And uh, you. so you make your clothing. I do. Everything is handmade by me um, from scratch using all organic, sustainable, eco-friendly materials. I love it. I love your ladybugs. Thank you. I, so, Coke Chanel, the name of my brand, actually means ladybug in French. So it's my inspiration. I love it. I love that you're here at the Brew Fest. Well, I really love your wares. Thank you. I love your display, and I'm going to do some shopping now. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I am here at Arch Rock Brewing. This is a very special brewery because they're right here from Gold Beach. And you guys have how many beers that you're pouring today? Uh, we have three beers. We've got a German style lager, a Gold Beach lager, um, Santa Jefferson Porter, which is chocolatey and mocha like. And we got the Crystal River Pale Ale, which has a lot of hop flavor, but it's not very bitter. Ooh, can I please try the chocolatey one? One of the things you get when you come to the uh, to the Brew and Art Fest is you get a commemorative glass, which is always fun to have with the logo on it. That's a winner. Thank you. Wow. You're just going off of uh, your mind. You're not even looking at a picture. Wow. It's really beautiful. So that, you know, if you don't know beer, you know, there's no right or wrong way to like beer. Uh, Oregon is really known for their craft beers. Thank you. Anything from a sour beer to a habanero beer to a chocolate stout. So if you don't go and meet the brewmaster at an actual brewery, there's also volunteers here that are serving several different kinds of beers. Are these all Oregon beers for you? All Oregon beers. Nice. And can I try the, um, the Seven Hop IPA from Rogue Farms? Yes, you can. I would love to try that one. If you want to be educated in drinking beer, you just come to a brew festival. And this one in um, Gold Beach is quite nice because it's half outside by the ocean and half inside. Rogue Farms is from Medford. <laughs> Oh, nice. And uh, it's a seven hop IPA, so it's a little stronger. It's hoppy flavored, and the alcohol content is at right about 8%. Nice. It's hoppy. The cameraman loves hoppy. Let's not give it to the cameraman. Okay, so if you're not exactly a beer drinker, that's okay, because they also have wineries here. This one's from the Willamette Valley. I'm going to be tasting wine in a beer glass, but that's cool, because it is a brew fest. Thank you very much. And there's some excellent wines that come out of Oregon, especially the Willamette Valley. Mm. 
Very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Cheers. You're the artist. Yes. And this is your pottery. And where are you from? We, from, we are from Rogue River. Nice. Yeah. It's beautiful. And you've, is this your first time at this event? This is our first time here. We'd like to come again. Oh, and yep. it's fun. And the dancing hasn't even started yet. <laughs> Just wait. So can you use these? I mean, are oh, they? Oh yeah, they're meant to be used. They can go in the dishwasher, microwave. Wow. Um, I use them to bake in. They're really beautiful. Really? You can put these in the oven? Oh yeah. Wow. Well, your work is really beautiful and locally made in the Rogue River. What I first noticed when I walked up here is that you have taps coming out of your van. We do. <laughs> I love that. That's so cute. Yep. Um, and so what are you guys pouring today? We're pouring our Hot Jaw IPA and our Tibble Rock Red Ale. Nice. And I understand they cover those when they're driving so they don't accidentally spill on the road, or which is really smart. Take advantage of yeah, walk by, oh, I'll have a beer. <laughs> yeah. That's so Oregon. Yeah.